Hey everyone, this is a tutorial about how to use a program called the Amazing Slowdowner to change the pitch and the speed or the tempo of any audio track so you can use it to play along with a flute or any other instrument that you might want to play along with. So I'm going to run you through the process I use briefly. Let's say I go to iTunes over here and I find a nice recording of Pachelbel's Canon that I want to use. Right, very popular classical piece. However, Pachelbel's Canon is in D major and I have an A flute which is playing in the key of C major. So I can download the music and I actually use a program called ScreenFlow to do an audio capture and get my high quality audio version of that song. So let's say I've done that. So I can drag my AIFF file, my high quality audio file into the, uh, the amazing slowdowner window, and then I can listen to it. All right, this is a different version, but it's the same type of thing. But here's the deal, here's the problem. My flute is playing in C major, this recording is in D major. So if I try to play along, doesn't really work, does it? So I can change the key by using the pitch slider here. And I know that the key of C is two semitones down from the key of D. And here's my semitones readout in the bottom here. So I'm going to drag this down one, two. Now it says semitones, minus two. So I know I've gone from the key of D to the key of C. Now, if I play along, much better. But I noticed on this particular track that it's not quite in tune. This track's a little sharp, so I can actually go and tune it even further using the sense feature. And the way I do that is I use these little arrows on the side of the pitch. So if I slide this, it goes by semitones. If I use the little arrows, so I'm going to uh, punch this little arrow over here. Watch what happens down here. I'm going to be lowering it one cent at a time. And yes, there are a hundred cents in one semitone. I think about 15, minus 15 cents, that just flattens it a little, brings the pitch down a little. So hopefully it's right in tune with the flute. Let's hear what it sounds like now. great. So now I've got it in tune, but what if I have a track that's much faster or much slower than I'd like to play it? Well, no problem. As you might have guessed by the name, the Amazing Slowdowner actually works really well for changing the speed. So we use the speed slider, and I can, so watch this readout down here. I can just grab this, and I can slow it down, let's say to about 75% of the normal speed. So now, if I go back, Nice and calm, very mellow. And of course, if I wanted to go faster, I could slide it up. This is about 130%. OK, 
Okay, so you get the picture. Once you're happy with all your settings in the amazing slowdowner, you can save your creation as a new audio file. And the way you do that is go up to File, and Save Song As. And I'm gonna uh, select uh, MP3 because I don't need large AIFF files. If you wanna have a very high quality file, you can save as an AIFF, but MP3s are fine. For my application, you can leave all the settings the way they come up. Uh, if you do want to go into encode settings, you might want to select something like 320 or 256. I'm using 224 kilobits per second, uh, which is fine, very high quality. All right, then hit OK. Name your creation, which I already have down here, so I won't do it again. Um, but I want to show you that basically, I've created different versions of the songs down here. So I've got a Pachelbel Canon in C. And that works with my A flute. I also slowed it down a little. And then I've got the same basic version, but I changed it to the key of F major, which works with my D flute. So I've got some guitar music, I've got some piano music, and I'm just building my library. You can certainly save songs in a variety of keys. You can even use, if you have a laptop, or maybe a tablet, I'm not sure if the Amazing Slowdowner is an app at this point, it might be. Uh, but check it out. If it is, you can just put the song in there and then you can change the pitch live. You can slide this pitch slider to any key you want using a laptop for sure, um, maybe using uh, a iOS device or some other device. I know they make the amazing slowdowner for Windows and iOS. So go for it. Use the amazing slowdowner. It does cost, as of this video, costs about $50. Um, but I think it's well worth it. You can get the exact sound that you want at the tempo you want, and you can create your own music for playing along. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. I'll leave a couple links to these programs in the description. And uh, thanks for watching, and happy music making.